Well, hello everybody. Uh, Henry here. Today we're going to go over um, the liver segmental anatomy, also called um, Quino's anatomy. Normally, as uh, sonographers, we divide the liver into left and uh, right lobe. It's very simple. We use the falciform ligament for that. But with this Quino's anatomy, the segmental anatomy is divided into eight functional units, which uh, has where each unit has its own vascular and biliary supply. In Quinu's anatomy, the, the liver is divided into left hemiliver and right hemiliver. Segments two and three are divided from four by the falciform ligament and Cantley's line, which contains the gallbladder and the middle hepatic vein, separates segments four, five, and eight. And then the right hepatic vein separates segments 7 and 6 from 8 and 5. There's also the, the hand mnemonic where you use your hand to make a fist. And this represents the anterior surface of the liver. Uh, your thumb makes up the cauda lobe. Your knuckles here separate the liver in the horizontal plane where the portal vein lies, separating superior from inferior. And then you have these three digit lines that are the hepatic veins so um left hepatic vein middle hepatic vein and right hepatic vein so it would be thumb cauda lobe segment two three four a four b five six seven and eight all right so real quick we'll look at the a great diagram from radiopedia that was made by dr jeffrey Dr. Jeffrey Hawken, so from superior to inferior on CT, you have here segment 4A, segment 8, a little bit of segment 7, and a little bit of segment 2. So as you go down, still segment 2, 4A, 8, and 7. For the down, same. Here you can start seeing the hepatic veins dividing everything laterally. Goes down, goes down, still 2, 4A, 8, and 7. And then once you start getting into the portal vein region, it separates the liver from superior to inferior segment. So then you have segment 3, segment 4B, segment 5, and segment 6. And it stays that way all the way down. This is available at radiopedia.com I'll post a link in the description all right so the falciform ligament is what's going to separate segments two and three from segment four the middle hepatic vein is going to set uh, separate these two segments here so if your superior is going to be segments 4a and 8 if your inferior is segments 4b and 5 so again it's lateral Left lateral, left medial, right anterior, right posterior. All right, so now let's look at some ultrasound views, beginning with sagittal. All right, so you got your probe there on segments two and three. All right, so here you have your aorta, superior segment two and inferior segment three in sagittal. Moving more laterally, you have your IVC, segment one, again, segment three and segment two. So segment one is caudate lobe. Moving to segments four. All right, you have a little bit of gallbladder right there. And here's your portal vein plane, segment four B, A, five, eight, and seven. Moving further laterally, Start to get a little bit of kidney right here. So five, eight, six, and seven. And then all the way laterally. There you have your kidney and segments five, six, seven, and eight. Now, one thing to keep in mind is with 
ultrasound, you're scanning the liver in angles that you might not be able to get in CT. As a CT, you're getting perfect transverse images of patients positioned correctly and perfect sagittal images. And within a ultrasound, you're, you can be angling subcostally, intracostally, using oblique angles to get better pictures. With So that's why you're going to be having several segments in one picture. And you'll see that now when we do the transverse images. Okay. All right. So in transverse, so that's the superior segment. Superior segment of the liver, segment two. Okay. And you'll see you have... You'll see you have... And you'll see you have two, four A and eight. We're in the superior segment, so we're scanning around this region right here. So two, four A and eight. Okay, now we're angling from inferior to superior. So here you're gonna have the portal vein branch feeding segment three, the portal vein, vein branch feeding segment two, the cauda lobe here, segment one, segment four B, and segment five. So we're kind of like right here, angling upwards. So closer to the transducer face are going to be the inferior segments of the liver. So three, four B. And then as you go more posteriorly, you'll start getting two and five, as well as the Cauda lobe, which is behind here. Okay, now we're going to approach from inferior to superior. There you can see the pancreas. All right, angling upwards. Here we have three cauda lobe, segment five and four B. So we're, we're around this region right here. Okay, now. Scanning on the right lobe of the liver. Here we start transverse. We've got your gallbladder, segment 4B, 5, and 6. So we'll be right here, 4B, 5, and 6. And now scanning the superior segment of the right lobe and transverse. There you have your hepatic veins. Okay, so here you have 4A. 8 and 7. So you're scanning around right here. And you'll see that your middle hepatic vein separates 4A from 8. And your right hepatic vein separates 8 from segment 7. Okay, we also have some, some CT views. So here's sagittal on CT. I've rotated the CT. So, we, you know, the ultrasound probe will kind of be right here. And you'll be seeing three, two, and one cauda lobe, superior segment, inferior segment of the left lobe. All right, more laterally, you have four B, inferior segment, four A, superior segment, five and eight, and six and seven. Okay, transverse, in the inferior portion, you have segments three, four B, five, and six, along with the cauda lobe, segment one. And then in the superior portions, you have segment two, cauda lobe, 4A, segment eight, and segment seven. Okay, so one more quick recap. Um, again, remember in ultrasound, we usually separate left lobe and right lobe. So fossiform ligament, left lobe, right lobe. But then with Kuna, uh, Quinu's anatomy, we're separating it to left hemiliver and the right hemiliver using Cantley's line or the middle hepatic vein main lobar fissure and gallbladder to separate right from left hemiliver. All right, and then this is a posterior view. So here you got your cauda lobe, which is segment one. And here are the stills for the ultrasound. So I'll be posting these as um, stories in Instagram and also in Facebook and in the blog, as, you know, as well as just the YouTube video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know that this is could be a little hard to learn. Um, especially when we're used to just dividing the liver into left and right lobes, which is a lot easier. This is obviously more important for, for surgical applications, but it's good for sonographers to know it just so you can, you know, 
improve your 3D, you know, anatomical knowledge and also help along with, you know, CT, MRIs and radiologists with, uh, you know, mass and tumor localizations. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Uh, I will be posting a ARDMS review for OB um, in the coming week, followed by uh, pediatrics and vascular. All right. Thank you.